story themed video but this time I'm going to be Cordelia Good from The Coven and I absolutely love this season. I'd say this is probably one of my favourite seasons. So today I'm going to be doing that look where she has acid thrown in her face and she's blind so that's the one I'm going to be doing today. So I have this really cool effect that I can use for that. I have third degree to use and it's like a silicone compound that you can use to mimic burns so I want to use this. As for my outfit I just have a silky cream shirt underneath and have this like black lace top on top then I'm going to tie a little bow in the front and I have like a pearl necklace as well. So the very first thing I'm going to be doing is applying my wig cap. So I'm going to apply a wig first. Now this wig I have kind of customised myself. I didn't have any like natural blonde wigs so this one will have to do for now. But it has the same sort of effect so anything that's like a natural blonde would look amazing. So I tried to do like a natural root on it, didn't do the best but just better than what it was. It was a very very long wig that I cut as well so I trimmed it, gave it a little bit of a layering at the front and added a bit of a rootage to it. I'm just going to attach the side clips. Okay, I'm just going to clip the fringe out of the way for now. Now I'm going to take the Swartz Cough Got To Be Glued at Spiking Glue. This I love for wigs. You can get a spray version, which I'm going to get next and try that one. But this one I'm almost out of. So I'm just lifting up the edge of the lace here. And I'm just going to lay down the glue. Just give it a few seconds to go a little bit more tacky. And then you can pull the lace down and hold it there. So I'm going to go ahead and do my soap brows now. So I'm just going to pull them up with a spoolie. And then I'm going to go ahead and just shape them. Next I'm going to go in with my iMagic 12 colour flash case. So I'm going to mix coral and rouge red and I'm going to pop this sporadically around the eyes and then just blend and tap out with the finger and just to give the face some irritation and go over the eyes as well and just pat with the finger to blend, it doesn't need to be perfect Just to make the skin a bit more irritated and sore, I'm going to go over the nose as well because she does have it across the whole width of her eyes and nose. It's good if you can have a reference photo as well. Over the, the nose a little bit as well. Obviously it'd come over the eyebrow as well. This is why I kind of glue the eyebrow down so that I can go in and place product in there and make it really sore. Okay, so next I want to move on to that red colour now. There's only a tiny bit left. Again, just radically start placing in the red, but I'm doing it in less areas because I don't want it to be one messy patch. So I'm going to do it in a few less areas and then just blend in with my finger. So this is what I 
it looks like so far with the sore red irritated skin. Now I'm taking my third degree silicone modeling compound. This comes in parts A and B, so you want to mix these together, but never cross contaminate. So you use one spatula for this and one spatula for this, and then mix them together. If you use one spatula from this one straight into this jar, it will ruin the jar. I'm also going to mix these silicones with a creamy foundation type of product because these do dry clear and that's not what I'm looking for. I want it to look like the skin. So I'm going to actually add a little bit of this into that. I'm using the gold tweezer for parts A. Some of this. I'm going to place it into the lid of that creamy contour. In parts B I'm taking a silver tweezer to the end of it and I'm going to get about equal amounts and then pop these in here together. Then I'm going to get a little metal spatula and add some colouring to the silicone. So I think I'm going to go with this one and then start mixing these in. So mix until you have one colour and start layering this down. Now I'm going to go ahead with some foundation just around the edges here and a tiny bit on the forehead. This is the PS Double Coverage Matte Foundation. Then I'm just going to take some loose powder just to set the foundation. Next for the lips, I'm going to go for a nude. So I'm taking the Estee Lauder Pure Colour Envy Lipstick in 110. Then I'm going to go back to that coral shade and just add a little bit of this to the centre of the lip, just to the edges a little bit, because the lips wouldn't be perfect. This is more like irritation. And then lastly, I'm going to go in with the red on its own. Just add a few hints of that red on its own, make it even more sore and irritated. And then I'm going to take these hair clips down. So I've just gone ahead and brushed through the wig. I cut a tiny a little bit of a layer in the front of this wig because she has like curved hair like this almost. So I'm just going to bend and flick the waves just to make it look more like her. She kind of has them flicked out, sorry. Like that. So I'm just going to take a straightener on my wig. You can use straighteners, just go very, very quick. Don't hold them because that's how it will melt off. So I'm just going in and slightly bending it and then just hold it until it cools down and then that's going to be 
it's resting shape. Does that make sense? So I'm going in, quickly going to bend, and then hold. Just want the front pieces to look like it's bent a little bit. So now I'm going to go ahead and apply some accessories. So I'm going to take this pearl necklace and add this on. And then I'm going to add in some pearl earrings. And then last but not least, I'm going to apply some blind contact lenses. So these are some white mesh lenses. These are from Pinky Paradise. So that's one contact in. So even though these are blind contacts, you can still see, they're just very, very blurry, like everything's like misty, so it feels like you're in a fog. <laughs> and this is the finished look for Cordelia from American Horror Story Coven. It was good to play around with some silicone again, because it's been a while since I've played around with that, so yeah, it's really nice to go back and working with that product again. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, it really does help out my channel. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell notifications to be notified of all my future videos just like this one. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all again next time. Bye guys.